our T plus one, which was itself a global first, because there was no large market in the world which had achieved T plus one, um, was implemented, you know, with the support of the entire ecosystem. And interestingly, you know, we measure something called the defect rate of settlement by something which is a measure of what is your DVP ratio, delivery versus payment ratio. Prior to moving to T plus one, the defect rate was about 0.7.8%. After implementation of T plus one, it actually halved to 03 to 0.4%. So actually, the entire process was far more optimal and efficient after moving to T plus one. And of course, now we have moved into optional T plus zero. And what I think gives us um, huge, huge satisfaction is the fact that there was one person who said to me, I don't know if uh, Vikram Kothari is here today. He said to me one day that there was a time when we as Indians used to sit in the last seat of global fora, the last row. Today, we sit in center stage. We have, I mean, I had dozens of pictures to choose from, but whether it is NSC, BSC, NSDL, CDSL, the number of awards that have been won, this is my favorite, Nehal, the number of awards that have been won by our market infrastructure institutions, whether it is for T plus one, T plus zero, for distributed ledger technology, I don't know how many of you know, you know, we've implemented one of the most sophisticated distributed ledger technologies for our bond market, for which NSDL has been fetted across the globe. So today we are at center stage. People turn to India and ask us, for guidance, for advice. We sit there as, as panelists on discussions. We are not sitting on the last row. We are sitting in center stage, receiving awards and giving guidance to the rest of the world on how we have implemented cutting edge technology and cutting edge regulation. In doing all of this, as I said, how do we think about SEBI itself? And to us, the question of trust is not a question of finger pointing. It's a question of both sides need to earn trust. You need to earn your stripes. So as SEBI also, we need to earn the trust of industry. And what are we doing towards that? I already shared the thought about co-creation. It's also about transparency. Because just as we ask industry for transparency, we believe we should be transparent as well. As many of you know, we have a three-pronged mandate. In the preamble of the SEBI Act, we are mandated to facilitate development of the market, regulation of the market, and investor protection, three things. So we have started measuring, and we have started going public with these numbers to say that today, if you look at the last, yeah, this is updated till February. So for this financial year, based on all the circulars that we've issued, about 50% are regulatory in nature, which means investor protection and risk reduction. The balance, 44%, a large part, is developmental and ease of doing business, ease of compliance. And our definition of developmental is very tight. We have to facilitate a new product, a new asset class, a new channel, a new investor class, something new which is being encouraged. You know, we were referring to the small and medium REITs. We've talked about online bond platforms. We've talked about the repo institution. So many things are really sitting there in developmental. So today, our balance sheet is very, very balanced. In fact, I worry that, you know, will we really have the ability to hold this ratio? It is our desire. But at the same time, the most important thing is whether we succeed or not, the important thing is to be transparent and share with you that actually, contrary to popular belief that regulators only always tightening things, it is factually not true. 44% of the time, we are doing ease of doing business and development. It's just that since it's non-controversial, it rarely grabs the headlines. Video pasand aaya, to hume like, comment, share, aur subscribe zaroor karein.